Um, you know, we talked about a couple keys going into this game, and unfortunately, uh, you know, we we didn't do those things that we needed to do. The first one was take care of the basketball. And with 16 first half turnovers, really puts you in a tough position, no matter how well you're doing anything else. Um, and we needed to do a good job on the defensive glass. And although the, they only ended up with nine, um, there was a couple in that first half that um, were very important for them. And the other thing is we needed to keep them out of the lane. Unfortunately, with the turnovers, it led to some easy baskets in the lane. But we didn't do a good job of guarding the dribble either. So. Um, you know, they're, they're a team that is very athletic, does a good job on the glass and attacks the basket. And so you need to really protect the paint. And, and um, they controlled the paint today, both in the post, on drives, in transition, and on the glass. And it just puts you in a difficult situation. And if you start off a game and you give the opponent 22 possessions without you getting one, and that's the equivalent of a turnover, it's going to be difficult to be successful. Well, I, 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 I thought um, <coughs> it, this will be a great game for Julian to watch with us as coaches on film and hopefully get a lot out of because uh, he did some really good things for us. At the same time, I think um, he'll also see that the physicalness that he plays with on the glass is lacking right now. And, um, you know, he played against some men tonight. Uh, some veteran players that have been through some battles, and um, I'm not sure he was quite ready for that. But, you know, this is a process that we're under right now, and so his job is to learn from that and, um, you know, keep working to get stronger. But, you know, he, he, it's not always strength either. There's a, a little bit has to do with, you know, just some <coughs> – inside interior you know toughness that says i'm not gonna let this guy get to the glass and that's something that again it's a big j jump in in the transition of levels um because he can't just stand by the rim and rebound anymore he actually has to hit somebody and um he will and today i think will be an opportunity for us to show him the uh, you know consequences when you don't because you get dunked on and teams get second and third shots. It seemed like Alabama was really quick off their feet defensively as far as blocking shots, you know, uh, misdirected shots. Yeah, you, you know, um, you know, we we didn't finish some shots around the basket. They did, you know, we again, you know, our our um unfortunately our post players when we got the ball inside Especially early, we didn't do a great job of taking care of the ball. Five and four turnovers from our starting post players is, you know, too many. Um, Got to be a little stronger with the ball. And uh, they're, they're a very athletic team. They are quick off their feet. So the one thing you have to do is you got to make sure you chin the ball and be strong with it. He took seven shots in 22 minutes, so that's. I mean, I, 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 I don't. Probably not. Probably not. You know, um, you know, he had a couple good looks. I, I thought they were pretty good looks. Um, you know, we just. It, he's probably grouped with a lot of guys that we just need to keep playing better, play a little harder, play a little with, with a little more energy. Um, but you can't necessarily single him out for that. I think that's a, a group of us, and I, us, all of us, because we're in it, this thing together. So. Uh, yeah, uh, excuse me. Coach said, uh, you know, attack, because you know Mitchell's six six. You know, he's kind of undersized and. You know, just trying to go at him because you go at him hard, you know, you make him foul. So I was trying to get him in foul trouble. Kevin, that, uh, that first half, you know, you guys were 
Uh, honestly, no. Nah, it wasn't the pressure. It just we didn't stay poised and uh, <clears throat> we didn't take our time and move the ball around. You know, it, it wasn't the pressure. We just we didn't stay poised and take our time. But I think we are going to answer your question. Yet, I mean, obviously there was something to do with the pressure. You know, <coughs> um, you know that caused us to lose that poise. Um, but you, you know, there are a lot of teams in our league that are going to pressure us. We have to get much better at that. You know, we were able to kind of right the ship a little bit in the VCU game. I think we might have had 15 turnovers or 13 turnovers in the first half of that game as well. But we were able to do a much better job in the in the second half as we did, you know, today. You know, we only had six turnovers in the second half today. The problem was, you know, it's, um, you know, 29 to 13 on points off turnovers. You know, 16 points is hard to hard to make up. You know, and it was—I don't know what it was at halftime. It was probably off the charts. 17 to five. 17 to five yeah. So, you know, it's a six-point game if that's even. Yeah, yeah. I felt it felt good. To be honest with you, we talked about winning that first round, and we got it down to 10. And, um, you know, we took a couple quick shots and turned the ball over, and all of a sudden, you know, it had a couple defensive breakdowns, and now it's up to 18 again. You know, we said we wanted to win that first four minutes, and we won that first four minutes, nine to six. You know, so our guys – at Georgia Tech, you got to be pretty smart. So I said, okay, how many four-minute rounds are there in a half? And they all said five. And I said, okay, now we won that one by three. So if we did that, how many does that equal? And they knew the answer to it, which was 15. And I just said, hey, you know, if you can get the thing to four or five, six points with four or five minutes to go in the game, you got a chance. Uh, and unfortunately, we weren't able to <coughs> win that next round. I, I think that would have been big for us if we could have done that. Yep. I mean, you know, we got to shoot the ball from the free throw line better. There's no, you know, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, we have some traditionally, historically, some poor free throw shooters that have shot the ball better this year. And uh, uh, we just, you know, you need to, when you, especially when you struggle to score as much as we do, you have to take advantage of those opportunities when you do get fouled. And then the ACC play now, nothing, nothing gets easier. You know, how do you, like everybody said, you know, right place? Well, you, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, that won't be easy, you know. Uh, but at the same time, I think everybody knew where we were at, too, you know. Um, the thing is, you know, it, it is always it's going to be a test of the character of the guys um, because if you're judging, you know, the, the progress by a win or a loss or whatever the case might be, um, then it's going to be tough. You know, we have to keep getting better. We have to keep we have to fight harder than we fought tonight. We have to uh, play for 40 minutes. I, I didn't like some of the shots we took at the end of the game. Um, and, you know, we're trying to, you know, instill a, a <coughs> much more committed basketball team in, in doing the things the right way all the time, and that's going to take some time. And you also have to understand <coughs> that as the process occurs, there's going to be some slippage, and you have to use those times to teach and learn. And, um, you know, you know, the month of January, look at the schedule, that thing is a monster. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh so we have to use every day. We can't just do it on the, on the eight games that we play. It has to be every single day. We have to evaluate if we're getting better. And that's, you know, a first step in, in building the program back the right way is doing it on a daily basis. Uh, Cam, kind of the same question. How do you describe the team's mindset here going into the conference? Uh, <coughs> a rough stretch here. Um, how are you guys holding up? I mean, 
we just have to um, take it as being positive. I mean, tonight, we know we didn't uh, <clears throat> play our best game tonight. But it, it's not like Coach said, it's not going to get, it, it's not gonna get even any easier. <clears throat> we have to go in with a positive attitude and just throw away the negative thing, even work work on our things we need to work on, but just go in with a positive attitude. Because, you know, it's ACC is a tough conference. You just got to go in, like Coach said, play field school. Uh, we learned some things, you know. They were like coach said, it was a veteran team. We didn't, we didn't come out and play for forty minutes hard, and they did. How about this jumping around, you know, Phillips? Yeah. First time in a long time. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. I mean, I'm not going to use it as an excuse, you know, but it's hard. And I said that, and I'll say it again. The people at Gwinnett were fantastic to us, you know, and the people here have been great. But we were on the bus. When we hop on the bus to go home, that'll be the sixth time we've gotten on the bus today for a home game. You got the bus to and through, to to back and forth to shoot around, back and forth to pregame, <coughs> back and forth from the game for a home game. You know, it's hard, you know. But that's why, you know, when it goes to the question earlier, you know, we understand what we're in this to do. And one of the reasons we're here is because we're going to get a great arena out of it. And if we, as our character continues to be tested and, and uh, you continue to fight through some of the tough times and stay positive and work on getting better and work on becoming a much more committed team to each other, down the road it's going to pay off. And you, gotta, you can't skip any steps. I've said it a hundred times. You can't skip any steps on that. And unfortunately, some of those st steps are tough, you know. But, and that's why I said earlier, when we won some games, I said, you know, we still got, there's still a lot of work to be done. And and uh, you can't, we're not going to judge if we've made it by one loss or a win, you know, so. Cam, okay, how about you? Uh, how do you guys like the rims here? How do you like playing on this court? Uh, man, I love this court always. Uh, watch the Hawks play when I was little, but uh, it's a nice court, it's nice rims. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It's when you play, you just have to come to perform and just play hard, and we didn't do that tonight. Thank you.